Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Unit is a standard of measurement. Who decides the units? Can I make an announcement that from tomorrow mass of this pen will be 1 kg? I cannot do that. Obvious, right? Can the chief minister of a state do that? No. Right? Prime minister of the country? No. President of India? Can he make an announcement that the mass of this pen will be called 1 kg from tomorrow? No. President of US? No. So who decides the unit? Who decides what unit we can use? And what is the meaning of that unit? Who will decide? There is a body called CGPM. General Conference of Weights and Measures. No, I am not written it wrong yet. This is the short form in French. And that is how it is identified as CGPM, but in English, it is General Conference of Weights and Measures. So, they will decide what units we can use and what is the definition of each of those units, right? So, any measurement that we make will have a number and a unit. Two things are there, number and unit. Number n, unit u. Now, if the unit is big, number is small. If the unit is small, number is big. n is inversely proportional to size of unit. Not convinced? Suppose we look at 5 kg. This is same as 5000 grams. Which one is a bigger unit? Kg, right? Which is a bigger number? 5000. So if the unit is big, number is small. If the unit is small, number is big. Right, n is proportional to 1 by u. Now, what are the various types of physical quantities? How many kinds of physical quantities we have? Two, right. What are the two types? Scalars and vectors, we are going to classify physical quantities like that later. But right now, we will classify physical quantities on the basis of units. So, on the basis of units, physical quantities are of two types. One is fundamental quantities and second is derived quantities. Now, what are fundamental quantities? Some quantities, physical quantities, units are arbitrarily chosen. Just like that, somebody chooses some unit. And units of these quantities are not dependent on the units of other fundamental quantities. For example, mass we measure in kg. Now, what is kg? Kg somebody has chosen arbitrarily, just like that. Length, we measure in meters. Meter is again somebody has chosen meter. Time, we measure in second, right? That same second. So these are arbitrarily chosen. And these do not depend on one another. Kg does not depend on mass and Kg does not depend on, depends, Kg is a unit of mass, but Kg does not depend on meter and second. Meter does not depend on Kg and second. 
second does not depend on kg and meters. These are independent of each other. These are called fundamental quantities and their unit is called fundamental unit. Now there are derived quantities whose units are dependent on the units of fundamental quantities. For example, volume. Volume we measure in meter cube. That depends on the unit of length meter, right? Density. We measure in kg per meter cube. And this depends on the unit of mass and on the unit of length. So these are called derived quantities. And their unit is called derived unit. So physical quantities are of two types on the basis of units, fundamental quantities and derived quantities. Now we'll look at the various system of units. Many units people have been using for a long time. To make life simple, let's make a table of system of units. And then we look at the various quantities that are defined in those system of units, the units of those physical quantities. One system of units people have been using is called CGS. In CGS, length is measured in centimeter. From this that CS comes, centimeter. Right? Mass. Mass is measured in grams. Right? That G. Mass is measured in grams. Time. Time is always measured in seconds. All system of units. Time is measured in seconds. After CGS, you got a system of units called MKSA. M stands for meter unit of length. K stands for kg unit of mass. S stands for second unit of time. What does it say? A stands for ampere, that is unit of electric current. So here we can have one more column and that is electric current. So current. Right. Then we have got one more unit called, system of units called FPS. This is the most uncivilized form of unit. The conversion factors are very difficult to remember, right? Earlier the British people used to use FPS, they ruled the world. Now Americans still use FPS in their day-to-day -day life and they rule the world. Unit of length here is feet, singular is foot, plural is feet, mass Pounds, pound symbol is LB and time is again seconds. So these three system of units are there, CGS, centimeter, gram, second, MKSA, meter, kg, second, ampere, FPS, foot, pound, second. Now all these system of units have been there, okay people are using them. Different people use different kinds of units and that led to some confusion, right? The story that some people, some scientists are doing calculations and sending a spaceship to Mars, right? And they are designing it so that it will orbit Mars. One set of scientists was doing calculation FPS units, other set of scientists were doing calculation SI units. Now, because of this confusion, instead of the spaceship going around Mars, it landed on Mars. So, important to be careful about system of units. That's why now people have standardized the system of units. And that we call it SI. SI is International System of Units. 
No, I have not written it. Ulta. Yes, this is SI. SI is International System of Units. That is again in French. System International, short form is SI. In English, we call it International System of Units. In this International System of Units, there are seven fundamental quantities. Right? Seven. First one is length. Length is measured in meters. What is meter? What is meter? 100 centimeter, very good. What is meter? One meter is the distance traveled by light in vacuum in 1 divided by 299792445. Seconds. Light travels very fast, right? Fastest. Nothing can travel faster than light in vacuum. So whatever distance light travels in these many seconds, 1 by 299792458 seconds, that is known as 1 meter. Therefore, the speed of light in vacuum is exactly 299-792-458 meter per second. Why is this an exact quantity? Because second is defined based on this. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.